Hello everyone and welcome back to another wave preview. Now this is finally a decent wave, thank god. I'm tired of these PTCs man, I don't know. Uh, just these terrible decal qualities, you know, all the tires being weird, colors being weird. I hope this one's not ruined. But, uh, 2023 wave 4 for NASCAR on all the authentics. Yeah, I could not speak and then I was reading a text and it got all kinds of bad anyway nascar authentics if i could speak that'd be nice uh way for for 2023 uh it's been a lot better than what we've had so far but speaking of waves and oh, good quality if my cat would shut up way five of bottom a diecast will be released here within the weekish somewhere around there uh towards the end of the week I'll be putting out Wave 5 for Bottom Bag Diecast. Of course, if you don't know what that is, that's my kind of like Lionel knockoff, but it's better. Uh, anyway, on to this Wave. Uh, I've heard good things and bad things about the Wave. Let me go ahead and get to the point where we're really wanting to see. So, 2023 Wave 4, here we go. First up, my boy, Alex Bowman. Looks very, very good. Finally, not on a PTC I'm so tired of Bowman cars being put on PTC because it sucks, man. I hate them. Uh, but yeah, so Bowman, just your average Alex Bowman Ally Knight car. Very, very awesome. So glad to see it be re uh, released the way it should be released and not on the stupid PTC mold. Uh, but yeah, so that one's awesome. Definitely going to get that. I'm not going to do a review only because I've done the review in the Gold Series. So I don't really need to spend the extra money uh, to have one for review and have one for my collection. I mean, technically, I could keep one as a donor, but I've got plenty of um, Gen 7 donors I don't really need anymore. Uh, so, yeah, this one, obviously, I take a liking to because that's my boy Bowman. And I want to get one just because, you know, obviously, got to hang it up on the wall, right? Uh, but, I mean, I recommend picking it up, if, if especially if you haven't got it in the Gold Series, because it's not messed up. I don't see anything wrong. Decals look fine. Car looks fine. It's on the EL mold, as far as I can tell. So, I think uh, I think this one's a good one. Oh, Josh Berry, the Tire Pros paint scheme. I prefer last year's, but this thing slaps, dude. This is a fantastic paint scheme. Looks really nice. This thing is heat. It's a fire. It's a good paint scheme. And I'm sad that it's an exclusive. But I'm also not sad uh, that it was not ruined from the PTC mold. And I don't even know if we have a PTC mold for Xfinity. Do we? Does that exist? I don't think it does. Uh, but yeah, still a very awesome car. Definitely going to pick this battle boy up. I might hang it on the wall. I'm not like, I'm not really a fan of like reviewing the authentics anymore. Nothing against the authentics or anything. It's just like, I don't know. I might have to get two just to hang up on the wall, but I don't want to like double my money. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I might review this one. I might not, but either way, if I find it, it will end up in my collection. Oh, Brandon Jones, one of the most cursed things I've ever seen in my entire life. The number nine with Menards. Not a fan. After seeing Gragson in that car for that long, the number nine doesn't look right on anything other than that Bass Pro Shots paint scheme. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. That's true. And that's going to be true because I don't, I dude, I don't care. I do not care. I don't like the number nine on the Menards paint scheme. It's it's just cursed to me. It is, okay? And that hood placement, also cursed. It's a good car. I mean, obviously, taking out how weird it looks. It's a good car, good paint scheme. It's Menards. You know, can't really go wrong with Menards. Uh, Dayglow, nice Dayglow color. Got all the sponsors. It looks like on that quarter panel, though, uh, we have that dark yellow outline like we normally get with the Menards cars, so that does kind of suck. Uh, but nonetheless, we get Brandon Jones in the Authentics, so that's uh, pretty awesome. When was the last time we got a Brandon Jones car? Was that 20, uh, 2014, 13? It was in the 33, right, for the Xfinity Series? Because I have it. I have that car. But I don't remember what year. It may have been 15, 16. I don't know. Not, not 16. I don't think it was that late. But either way, uh, it's a good car. It just looks cursed. 
my boy Kevin Harvick in the 2023 Rain Paint Scheme. This thing looks pretty good. Uh, it's very sad, and it kind of brings a tear to my eye that there is a forever in the corner of that sticker above the car. That's sad, man. I hate Harvick's leaving, but I mean, dude's old. I mean, he's. I think he's accomplished more than enough. Uh, but yeah, he's a champion. Has won plenty of races. Uh, done very, very good in the placement of Earnhardt. And of course, obviously, he's not going to be the same as Earnhardt. Uh, nobody ever will, uh, because there's nobody ever going to be like Dale Earnhardt. But uh, very fantastic feel for Earnhardt. Uh, came a long way. Did a lot of good, did a lot of accomplishments. Uh, so, yeah, this is a pretty good car. Again, I don't see anything wrong with it. Looks pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, get moving. I may keep this one just because it's Harvick's last year, and I'd like that forever in the bottom of the sticker. Uh, so I might just keep this one, but who knows. This one almost made me fall out of my freaking chair when I saw this, dude. Chris Busher with a scheme out of nowhere had no clue this thing even ran had no idea but dude this thing looks sick it's the uh, Paula Casino car purple pink kind of a weird color with the gray but dude I mean it it's nice it's a nice car definitely going to get this one that wasn't exclusive unfortunately uh, but dude I, I have to get two of these if I can Got to review one, and then I got to, you know, hang one up on the wall. So, yeah, man, that is crazy. I did had no clue this thing was even going to, you know, pop out at us. Because you don't see stuff like this. You don't see that weird one-off paint schemes every now, or you see them every now and then. But normally they're ruined by the PTC mold, so you don't even ex expect a good car in a wave. But, boom, here we are. So that is awesome. Uh, fantastic to see a car like this. Very, very, very cool. I'm going to be uh, super intrigued to do a review on this, if I can find it, uh, but I hope I can. Chase Elliott's... No oh. Oh, God. Um. Well, this one is interesting. Chase Elliott's 2023 Hooters car... What happened? How? Who? No pun intended, but who? Like, what? I... Mm, ouch. Um, okay. This is different. We was you know, we was having a good wave, and it was like, well, and I was like, you know what? Boom. Trash car. Okay. So, the most popular driver, and probably one of the most popular paint schemes for that driver gets completely botched it is there's coca-cola on the car and it's not on the b post oh my god that's cool anyway uh yeah this thing's hot garbage i mean there's no other way to say it the paint scheme's cool but look at the decals the chase elliott's like double printed on the name rail you can't even make out the nascar cup series logo we had this last year we had this with the it was three cars. I think it was a Kyle Busch, a Kyle Larson, and a Chase Elliott from last year. I believe it was the Hooters car from last year for Elliott. Uh, the Larson, just Hendrick cars for Larson. Uh, and I think, what was it? I don't know if it was Bush or not. Hold on, let me do some research real quick. Let me just go to a certain website. We're going to do some research, yeah. Because this is not good. What is the Authentics website? Hold on, I'll, I'll find it. Oh, I found it. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see. It was sometime last year. I'm going to take a quick gander. By the way, I haven't even found Waves 2 or 3 for the year. Just FYI, I mean, you know. Did I even find, did I find wave one? I did find wave one, but I only found like a couple. So we're kind of scarce on the, uh, the waves here, boys. This also happened on the Logano from wave seven. I do remember that because I have it. I think it happened on the Kyle Busch from wave seven, the Dewalt car. If I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Here we go. Here's the wave. Wave three is the wave I'm specifically talking about. Wave three. Harvick. That's what it was. The Harvick's Hunt Brothers car was the worst car in that wave. It also happened with the Larson and the Elliott Hooters. I remember now. Okay. Well, I, I, yeah, I remember by looking at it. But yeah, we've seen this before. But we haven't seen it since Wave 3, or I'm sorry, Wave 7. So it's returned, unfortunately. Man, that sucks. I wish they would, like, not do this, but, you know, uh, Elliot's car has been ruined, to say the least. Ah, man, Lionel, what you doing, bro? Who, who's drinking? Who's drinking, Lionel? Um, not picking this one up. And I believe if you try to strip this paint from the car... It's going to take off the base coat, but all the decals, like the number 9, the, the Owl, the Hooters, Napa, Goodyear, whatever, will stick to the freaking car. It will not go. I remember people stripping the cars for customs, and it would not go away. So keep that in mind if you want to try to make this one a donor, because that may not be the best idea. This looks like it's a it's a good uh, participant, or... Uh, apply? No. I don't know. It's a good pick <laughs> for a peg warmer. So, yeah, that one's not very fun. Hey, the boy Junebug. He's back in another wave. Okay, Dylan Hart Jr., 2023 Bass Pro Shops. Now, he just announced this will be racing at Homestead. If you guys remember, I was doing the, the Gold Series review, and I said he was doing the uh, Hellman's paint scheme at Bristol, right? I think it was Bristol and then he did not re or he didn't announce uh what paint scheme or what race this was going to be ran at. Uh but he announced it so we do have that mystery solved. But I'm seeing an issue. Take a look at the contingencies of that car beside the 88. That's uh Looking a little blurry there, Chief. What's going on? Don't tell me the blurry decals affected my boy Junebug. You you can't you can't do me like that. Nah, nah, I won't accept it. Uh, yeah. So in all seriousness, it does look like the de the decals are a little scuffed on this one. Most of them look okay, but it's you can tell some of these are a little scuffed. Like the NASCAR race car logo, the 75th anniversary logo, the Xfinity logo. Mobile One, Arrowhead, Comedic, that's just, that's not, not looking too hot there, boys. So, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate, but of course I will be picking this one up because it is Junior. I am a Junior enthusiast more than I am Bowman. Uh, so I am going to, of course, I'm just kind of hanging up on the wall. But other than that, that's pretty much all this thing is good for. Oh, this one makes me sick. Kyle Busch, 2023 Lenovo. Now, the paint scheme's cool. I've already done the Gold Series review for that car. I've already done it. Uh, it looks good. The paint scheme looks good. I don't like how the logos are. I've talked about this already. But the decals have attacked Kyle Busch, and it's not pretty. They've done some damage. Uh, again, blurry decals. The Alsco can't really make it out. The red, dude, look at the red. Ew, ew, what's wrong with the red? Oh my god, it's like the uh, the Harvick car from last year. Ew, it's so ugly. Ah, why, why, why? I'm not a Kyle Bush fan, but why, man? Do you know how many people cannot access the cars online and they wait for these waves specifically? And you're going to ruin Kyle Bush. Oh, that sucks. Probably the most anticipated die cast in general of the year. Kyle Busch going to Chevy, going to RCR, and ruining their chances of having a good car in the Authentics. Oh, that sucks, man. I feel bad for anybody wanting this car in the Authentics. Good luck. I mean, if you're willing to deal with it, cool. But, I mean, man, these things are not doing so hot. This would have been an easy, like, 8.5 out of 10 for the Wave entirely. But with these cars, I, I can't go much more than a 5. I mean, that's it's a little rough around the edges. So, it's a little rowdy around the edges. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, look at that NASCAR Cup Series logo. Again, the Goodyear's like double printed. That uh, 75th anniversary logo is all scuffed, man. It's just, it's not fun, dude. It's not good. I don't know why, but I almost freaking like had a heart attack when I saw this. Zane Smith, 2022 Speed Code Champion. Uh, now, it's weird because I think last year, was it 2021? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be 2021. Um, they put the championship logo on the deck lid of the, of the truck. Everybody loved it. Everybody loved the the logo on the deck lid, or the, uh, I guess the bed cover in this case, because they could still, you know, see the number on the roof. That was awesome. I'm glad they did that, and then they didn't do it for this one. I don't know why, but they didn't. Uh, so, Zane Smith, very cool car. Didn't he win in this paint scheme recently? Circle B logo on the uh, B post, oddly enough. So, that's probably why this was made. So, I got Circle B diecast on the B post. That's cool to see. And, I mean, it's it's a nice truck. I like it. And, again, didn't he win this... Uh, he won a race, right? Maybe. Was it this year? I don't know. I don't remember. But he caught fire. Wasn't that the same paint scheme? If so, I'm trying to make a custom. But I, I could be very wrong. Uh, but, yeah. So, Zane Smith. We don't get a race win, of course. Because, you, know, you know, why would we... Uh, but yeah, so it's still cool we get the, uh, the truck scheme in general. And, uh, also, uh, this is the liquid color, as I'm showing right here. And man, this thing looks really, really good. I love that blue. Of course, blue and yellow. I mean, you can't go wrong with blue and yellow, obviously. Uh, but yeah, and also, look, there's a winter sticker. What, what was it on the other, was it on the other thing? Uh, yes, it was. Yeah. Okay, so there's a winter sticker on the the little, like, tag, right? The little tag, what in the world? The little sticker. There's a winter sticker on the sticker. So, that's cool. They added a little more detail, which, I mean, it's not a lot, but it's still awesome. Uh, I think, dude, somebody, didn't somebody already find these trucks? Like, both of them? Isn't that weird? I don't know if they went to the retail store, which they've been very well, it's possible. But I don't know, man. But either way, this, this is a cool car. Now... Again, if we did not have that stupid, like, blurry decal cars, it would have been an easy 8.5 out of 10. Uh, but yeah, man, so this is a pretty nice truck. A very nice wave, but I mean, it just sucks to see uh, that it had to be kind of downgraded. But yeah, so that's kind of my thoughts on this wave. Again, very good wave. Of course, if I see the liquid color, I will pick it up. I plan to pick up the Bowman. Uh, the Barry, I might pick up two of those, I'm not sure. Uh, the Harvick, I might get my hands on. The Chris Busher, I have to, there's no way. Elliot's a hard pass. Uh, Earnhardt, obviously, got to get that one for the wall. Kyle Busch is a hard pass. And then Zane Smith, uh, obviously, that might be a very good truck to get. You may, I think that's an exclusive, right? Maybe. I don't know, because normally they make the Camping World Truck Series trucks uh, for like the championships and stuff. I don't know if it is exclusive. It very well may be. Uh, but either way, this is a good wave. It does have some exclusives in it, which is awesome. Uh, so I'm just very glad that the exclusives were not damaged by the blurry decals. So that is, you know, something we got lucky with. I don't know. It's still a very good wave. So, uh, yeah, again, that's kind of my thoughts and opinions on it. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you're going to get any of these cars in the wave. I highly expect a lot of you to because we've been waiting for a non-PPC mold for a long time. And we finally got it. Still not perfect, but, you know, it's better than PTC. Uh, so let me know which ones you're going to get down in the comments below. I look forward to reading your comments. And I look forward to getting these uh, for the review station. So, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Everything.